Hi everyone, it's Ro. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about color theory. I'm just kind of touching on the subject, just enough that um, it could help a makeup artist or a painter that's starting out, someone that doesn't know a whole lot about uh, what colors look good together. Um, this is very useful, I think. It can be useful in the outfits you put together, um, the makeup you put on, things whenever you're painting, interior decorating, pretty much anything like that. It's going to be really helpful for. So I hope that this video um, can help out people that are just starting to learn a little bit about color. Um, and I've, I've took some images from the internet, Google, like color wheels and things, all that came from Google. Um, there are some images on here I don't own, like the Lakers image and Burger King image and things like that. I'm just using them to demonstrate to you how advertising can use these um, colors to, or these color schemes to really make their advertisements popular. So um, I hope that you like this. If this is something totally boring and you don't want me to do tutorials like this, just let me know. But um, anyways, here it is, and I hope you enjoy. I'll be using the color wheel to show you different schemes that you can use with your makeup or anything you do, like choosing an outfit, painting. I was inspired to do this tutorial by a Krylon palette I purchased from the makeup shop. It had so many different colors and I was able to make different colors with it, so it made me want to get a color wheel and experiment. This is a color wheel. These colors are going to show you basically what looks good together. It's kind of like a map for whenever you apply color to your face or to anything. I'm going to be talking mainly about primary, complementary, and analogous color schemes. Complementary is a more dramatic color scheme. Whenever you use these colors together, they'll really pop. Complementary colors are red and green, and blue and orange, and purple and yellow. These complementary colors can be used to mix together and make brown. I found that with my Kryolan palette that the blue and orange made the best looking brown out of the other colors. You can see complementary colors used in advertisements, um, often like football teams use them, um, basketball teams like the Lakers there, the gold and purple is very complementary. Just like this photo here of the sky, the orange and blue are very complementary and they really put a stain on your mind of that image. Um, that's why a lot of people when they're wanting their advertisement or their photo to really make an image, um, they're using complementary colors. Like this is a Christmas image here, and the red and green just really stand out because they complement each other. You can also use the triad color scheme to really stand out and look dramatic. If you look at the color wheel, every five colors in the shape of a Y makes that triad. So three of those colors together is a triad. So yellow, red, and blue, the primary colors are a triad. And then you can turn the color wheel and use that Y for other colors to make a triad with them. Here's an example of how Burger King used a triad for their advertisement. It's very catchy and the colors really pop. I do not own this image, by the way. <laughs> I use triads on my face with makeup whenever I'm doing very dramatic um, makeup. Like here you can see the blue, yellow, and red, and where they mix together it creates the colors in between on the color wheel. That's called gradient, and I will show you the gradient color wheel after these images here. So you can see how whenever you mix the colors of the wheel together and blend them, the edges of them together, how they'll look. This is yellow, blue, and red, but where the red or pink color mixed in with the blue, it turned purple. 
you can see on the color wheel where the red, yellow, and blue meet the other colors, it blends into uh, more of a yellow green or a purple, depending on what color it's next to. You can use this gradient color wheel to help you whenever you're putting your colors next to each other so you know what color will create in the center of them. The tutorial I did about the um, tie-dye eye, you could see here how where the yellow met the blue, there was a green and yellow green in between, and where the pink met the blue, there was a purple or purpley blue color in between. So that's the gradient of the color wheel. It also happened in the starburst lip that I did, where the blue met the pink, it had a purple gradient there. So you can use that um, so that you don't create a kind of brown color. You'd want to use more um, analogous colors, and that's what these are here. I put the pieces of the color wheel there so you can see. If you put yellow next to a red, it's going to create those colors in between, the analogous colors. And same with the greens and violets. So whenever you're choosing colors, you can use this to see um, what colors will appear when you blend them together. Analogous colors are going to look very natural together. This is a painting with analogous colors, blues, purples, they kind of make uh, lavender colors there, so it looks very natural and flowing together. My logo has analogous colors, the pinks with the, the purpley and blue. Those colors are next to each other on the color wheel, so they're going to blend nicely. Like this flower you would see in the wild, it has analogous colors. So the yellow, orange, and then the darker orange are analogous. Putting these colors together can give you a very natural look. Like as you see in this picture of the sunflower with the green, it just flows together very softly because the colors are analogous. Whereas if there was a purple color in the background of the yellow, the yellow would really pop out and stand out and it would be very dramatic. Analogous with makeup just looks very soft and natural. So if you have blue eyes and you do a soft blue eyeshadow, it's going to look very soft and natural. I hope you like this tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask, and please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks!